over. Hey y'all, Sean here with South Texas Fur Takers. I wanted to talk to y'all a little bit about this new uh, Ruger Ranch 6.5 Grindel. Uh, I have the Predator Grindel in the 22 inch barrel. This one comes with a 16 inch barrel. I've obviously added a few things here uh, from what you normally get straight out of the box. Out of the box it's going to look a little more like this. This is the 5.56 Ranch. I've added a muzzle brake and a, a cheek rest pad here uh, but on this one here I've got it in an MDT chassis uh, just you know adds a little more accuracy makes the gun shoot a little better I like it a lot it doesn't have that cheap plastic you feel um, so let's uh, let's dive into this bad boy and let's talk about it a little bit so you've got the 16 inch barrel it's a 1 and 8 threaded twist uh, it's going to be the same Basically, is all the Ruger American models. The only difference you're getting is the barrel length here. So you've got a 16-inch barrel. Uh, I've added the uh, Gamma VG6 muzzle brake here. I really am a big fan of these muzzle brakes. I would say you're getting somewhere around 40 to 50 percent recoil reduction, uh, which there's not much. You don't really need it on the 223, but I like it. Um, definitely going to want to wear earplugs though. So here we have uh, the action here on this gun. I have actually uh, added a Anarchy Outdoor bolt handle, extended bolt handle. Don't really need it on the uh, 223, the 6.5 Grindel. Um, these AR mags, it comes with a C Products Defense magazine. They don't load as good as the Magpul mags, but obviously with the 6.5 Grindel, you've got a, a bigger case and you can't run those polymer mags, the lips would be too wide and it wouldn't feed properly, so they have to stay with the steel magazines. So the best I've found is the C-Products Defense. I tried a Elander magazine, didn't like it, had a little too much play in it, didn't feed well. But for the most part, I mean, I haven't had any issues of it not feeding. The, the head spacing on this particular gun is, is pretty tight. Um, but uh, so far it has shot really well and I've been very happy with it. Um, groups at or inside an inch depending on what ammo you're using at 100 yards uh, you know really no complaints at all now that may be I immediately threw it in the MDT chassis so I did not shoot it in the, the rubber stock that it comes with so you know that may have helped a little bit but when I took my thermal off of the 223 and put it on the Grindle after I figured out it was shooting some decent groups uh, I shot this bad boy in the original stock and it's uh, it's shooting probably three quarters of a minute at 100 yards with the uh, 55 grain nozzler Farmageddon tip bullets. I really like those. In the 223 I was shooting the Horn DB Max. Those shoot good as well but it seemed like every third shot I was having a flyer and uh, I don't think it was due to heat because I was running in this MDT chassis, you know, there's really nothing to heat up on it. It should take several rounds, much more than three, before you're getting that kind of heat in it. One more modification I like to make to these guns is uh, you can buy the $150 Timony trigger, and uh, that's all good and well, but I'm not going to, you know, if I buy a $450 gun, I'm not going to spend $150 on the trigger. So what I do is there's a company called M Carbo, M C A R B O, and they make a trigger spring kit, and I think it's like $12.95 for the Ruger American. It'll go in any Ruger American you've got. I've got one in both of these and one in my Predator. And uh, $12.95, they send it to you. It takes about five minutes to install, super easy, and it drops it down to, uh, I'd say, somewhere between two and two and a half pounds. Uh, I haven't put a scale on it, but it's, I've got a couple ARs with two and a half pound triggers, and it's very similar. Um, it makes it a lot nicer, a lot easier to shoot, very clean. It's just, all in all, it's a good gun. So, I didn't get a chance to make this video at the range the other day when I shot everything. The uh, weather conditions weren't permitting. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload some pictures and show you what some of the different ammo was doing and how it was shooting. And if you have any questions, put them down in the comments and we'll, uh, we'll talk about it. So I appreciate it, guys. And... Hang tight, we'll get the
those pictures up for you. Give you a little better look here. So here is the C products, the fence, and right now it's loaded with the 90 grain Nosler Varmageddon uh, bullets. Really becoming a fan of these. I uh, have a previous video labeled Thermal Predator Hunting, and uh, it'll show you what these 90 grain Noslers will do to a coyote. Um, but like I said, uh, this is what I found to be the best. I was shooting the Hornady Blacks for a while. Uh, I shot the SSTs, STTs, whatever it is, 123 grain Hornady Customs, and they were good. I shot a, a really big deer with it, and you know, it knocked down, but just the accuracy wasn't quite as tight. Now, obviously, 123 grain, 90 grain, you're not going to shoot a deer with these. Uh, this is more hog and predator, but like I said, I've been, been very happy with these for the short time I've been using them, and they shoot really good in both. Uh, the Ruger Ranch and the Predator Grendel, and I also have a uh, 16 inch Ballistic Advantage barrel uh, AR-15 in the 6.5 Grendel, and these shoot lights out as well. I'm talking half inch at 100 yards. So uh, if you're looking for Predators, I suggest these. Um, the only one I've shot big game with, deer and hogs, is those Hornady Customs. Uh, the 130 grain Federal uh, Gold Tip burgers they shoot really well out of the predator and out of the 16 inch ranch as well i haven't used them on any large game though so i can uh, validate that 